morning guys it is 8 42 a.m and we are eating our breakfast and drinking a cup of coffee that ryan got me and grant is just over there sleeping away and ryan is eating breakfast he enjoys breakfast yeah they brought me a breakfast but i had a bowl of cereal and a smoothie and i am pretty full i'm gonna shower and we get to go home today so hopefully we'll be able to go home soon. Hopefully the pediatrician will get his butt in here so we can head on out. Um, we're ready to go home. We're excited to bring Grant home and see the dogs and the kids. So we will update you more when we know more when the doctors come in. Good boy. Alright, are we ready? Are you ready to go home, baby? Grant, are you ready to go home? You look so precious. Are you ready? Oh, we got a little spin up here. You ready to go, bud? guys we are in the car ready to go home and the guy is just he's doing really good so let's hope this is a smooth transition to home I'm so excited to just go and see the kids my mom is coming down to the house um, and bringing the kids down and I'm excited to see the puppies and see how they are doing because we haven't seen them in a couple days. But um, yeah, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling a lot better um, as long as I keep taking some like ibuprofen or something because I'm having a lot of like the post postpartum cramping, just my uterus going back to its original size. Um, but yeah, I am just so excited to go home and rest at home and be out of the hospital. It really was not bad at all. Um, even though we had to stay for two days, we're used to only staying for 24 hours, but they let us go home earlier than we should have. We shouldn't have been able to leave until about 5.30, but they let us go home. It's 11.30 now. We're gonna, Ryan's in CVS right now because I wasn't going to get like Depends, but apparently it's a lot easier just to wear those. And honestly, I'm not really a huge fan of the um, the mesh undies that they make you wear. They kind of fall down. Um, so I want to just put on the Depends and the tucks and things like that and be more comfortable at home. So he's in CVS now getting me some of the postpartum stuff um, that I might need. And then we are going to head home. It's about a 45 minute drive. So hopefully little man does good. He should be good for a couple hours before he wants to eat again and he's doing really good on an eating schedule he is being bottle fed so um, that's that but he is doing really well and I'm doing well and I just wanted to give you guys an update and we will see you guys when we get home So light. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, Grant, we're oh. home. Come, back. Come here, Cliff. Boys, what is that? What's here? Oh, there's the baby's hat. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's gentle. Clifford. Clifford, what is that? Clifford. He's gonna ignore him. He's what gonna be that, that one. Oh, those are gentle. What is that? What's different about mama? <laughs> nothing to do with them. Okay. You're such a baby, Clifford. Guys, who's here? See the baby? Hi! <gasps> we have a baby! Here. Paisley, what's here? Come here. Here, Wes. Wes, you can have a chair here. Oh, okay. Say hi, baby. And uncover him. Careful, gentle. He has a boo boo on his foot. Be gentle. Say hi, Grant. That's his. That's his toes. That's his pants. Say hi, baby. Yeah, he has a boo boo on his foot. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, you can give him a kiss on his foot. Yeah, he has a boo boo on his foot. Gentle, that's where the boo boo is. Careful. <gasps> He's laughing at you. <laughs> Aww. Mama. Is Carter holding your brother? Do you love your brother? It's your baby. Kaya. <laughs> baby, baby, the baby opened his mouth. I hold the baby. Please tell him who's home. Um, the baby's home. Who? Baby who? Baby Grandpa. Are you happy you have a baby brother? Yeah. Love him. Happy birthday. Good job. Is he gonna be our other construction? Is he gonna be our other construction worker? A little bit harder. Is he gonna help you with your construction sites? Yeah. Yes. There you go. There you go. I think he wants to find it. Why? What is he doing with his mouth? Open it like a bud. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Thank you. You're a good helper. Mommy, could I put him a pillow? Oh, yes, he always got to put He has his pillow, huh? Special pillow. We just had some family over. Nana and Poppy brought some dinner. Poppy got to hold him for the first time. Huh. Weston's watching some Peter Rabbit. Do you like your brother? You don't want to show me? Dozer, where's the baby? Where's the baby? Dozer, come on, where's the baby? Come here. Mommy! Who's this? Clifford Gentle. Where's my gym? My gym is at Billy's bedroom. <laughs> Say goodnight to your brother. Good night. Good night. Love you. Aww. Love you. What's he doing? Does he look hungry? Yeah. All right, mommy's gonna go make him a ball. All right, he's ready for his first outing, other than leaving the hospital. I have an appointment for him this morning. Right, Papa? Yep. All right, you ready to go, buddy? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Hello, everybody. We are in the car this morning. I'm actually sitting in the front seat, which kind of feels weird with the baby back there. Um, I had to do my makeup quick, but we are headed to Grant's first doctor's appointment. Right? Yep. We're going to 
see how much he's growing, see if he's gaining weight, which is surprising because um, at the hospital he actually didn't lose any weight. And usually babies lose a little bit of weight and that's normal, but he didn't lose anything at the hospital. So we will see, I'm anxious to see what he weighs now that we're going to the doctors how he's doing. He's been doing really well so far that we know of at home. He's been eating and sleeping through the night other than, you know, just waking up for bottles, but he's been such a good little boy. Yeah. He's been sleeping like, what, three to four hours at a time and then waking up to eat. He's got us spoiled. So, this is this is how we know this is our last because he's been good so far. Yeah. <laughs> So, Ryan got me an apple fritter. And he just ate his Boston cream donut before sharing it with the world. Yep. What kind of no YouTuber are you? A hungry one. <laughs> so we will check back up with you at the doctor's. All right guys, well we just got out of his pediatrician's appointment and unfortunately the pediatrician that we wanted to see was not in today so he got to see just someone else which she was kind of weird <laughs> um, to be honest but whatever. He got seen and she actually said that he was looking pretty yellow so she wanted him to get some blood work done so that way they could check for his like bilirubin levels or whatever it's called. Um, basically just to see if he has jaundice and Weston had jaundice just a little bit but and it was hard because they were like oh sit him in the window in the sunlight and he was born in November and it was like cold and yucky out so he didn't get a lot of sunlight to sit in but at least Grant has that in case he needs to um they took his blood and that took forever because they like pricked the foot and then they have to let it like drip into the vial and just drip and drip but they got his blood taken and he did good. He cried for it, of course, but um, he's fine now. He had a bottle and he is now just sitting in the car seat sleeping. I'm sitting in the car as well with him next to me just because I feel bad for him. Um, and Ryan actually just went into Lowe's because he is going to get some paint switched um you guys know that i painted my doors a while back and i wanted to paint the shutters to match the doors and they color matched it completely wrong it's like completely different color blues so um we have to return that paint and get the right color so that is the plan little guy is just sleeping away and He's doing good. He's a little trooper. I felt so bad for him. I'm going to put some socks on him here soon, but he has a, I'll show you, a little cast on his foot from where he got his blood drawn. Poor thing. He's a strong boy, though. That's He's had that done twice now. So, anyway, we are just hoping and praying that it comes back negative and that he... We'll have no issues because he has been just the sweetest little thing and he seemed so healthy so hopefully the levels come back fine and they'll just go away on their own all right guys we're gonna take a little trip up to Nana's this evening he has done so good today <laughs> he's starting to wake up a little he says I hear mama's voice he has done very well today and I was gonna tell you guys we got the results back from the doctors and he does have a slight case of jaundice but it's nothing that they're, um, his levels are really, really low. So they said that they will just monitor him as in like his next appointment is Monday. So he's gonna get checked on Monday and other than that, just to keep him in the sunlight and kinda um, see what happens. They said it's really as expected with this young of a newborn. Um, so there's really nothing else we can do about it and just make sure he's pooping and peeing and he should be okay.